There is no life without him. You shall bury some of them as from today. They shall not bury you. In Jesus' name. message. Thank you so much for viewing. Please stay tuned. Same time, same place, the coming week. Mohedi Gohae, I invite you to come and fellowship with us at Corner Blood and Bosman in Pretoria CBD and our save it start at 8 o'clock. Remember, you are highly favored by God. Shalom. Special and rare greetings to all MANA TV viewers all over the world. Indeed, it is a great day we've been waiting for as the Lord has revealed himself through his servant, Apostle Shadrach Mabaso. The vision of radio and TV came and manifest since we serve the faithful God who speak no half true no in vain. MANA radio and MANA TV is how we are looking forward to expand the true gospel of God. That's why the Bible says in John 3 verse 16, For God loved the world that whoever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That will change our life and transform us. So let us keep listening to MANA radio and keep on listening to MANA TV. Your life will never be the same. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Karao Mondoedi, live from Pretoria, South Africa, at Mana Temple Church. You know, as I'm speaking right now, there's this verse that comes to mind about uh, that we should, when two or more are gathered, he will be in our midst. So we are gathered as, you know, we are in Mana TV, so we are gathered and that is just the whole point of it, you know, gathering in together in his midst. So I don't want to waste any more of your time. I'm the presenter of Worship Harmony. So this program is going to be all about playing music, gospel music, actually. Praise, worship. We're going to be worshiping and, like, feeling the presence of the Lord at all times while the songs are playing. Shabbat Shalom 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 I welcome you all all over the world 
to the Mana TV. I believe that you are going to enjoy and I hope that as I'm excited, you are excited as well. And I believe that as we are beginning with the Mana TV, we are going to watch and we are going to walk this journey together and you are going to see some entertainment and some teachings that are going to inspire you. And I want to say to you all over the world that Mana TV is here to make sure that the gospel of Christ Jesus is preached all over the world. I am your servant, Apostle Shadrach Mabaso, and I'm here in South Africa. I want to encourage you all over the world that through Mana TV, you need to tell others, make sure that you download the app on Google Play Store to make sure that you get blessed. And I'm saying to you, all over the world, this is your TV where Christ must be worshipped and must be glorified in truth and in spirit. And I'm saying to you, I will be with you all the time to make sure that you learn, you grow through Mana TV. Make everyone to know and to make sure that everyone they know about this TV. All over the world, I know that there are so many TVs, but make Mana TV to be your own TV of choice. And I'm saying, let God be glorified and let everyone know that the true gospel is still alive even today. I love you with the love of Christ Jesus. And I'm saying to you, as you are watching this TV, make sure you support it as well financially. The banking details are appearing on the screen. Make sure you become a partner to make sure that the gospel of Christ Jesus is being preached all over the world without any compromise. And I'm saying, if you want to visit us, we are in South Africa, in Pretoria, you can dial the number plus 2773-851-4499. And I'm saying to you, we love you all with the love of Christ Jesus. May God bless you. Shabbat, shalom, shalom, shalom. I greet you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Brother Cosmas Mawuni. I'm broadcasting live from Mana Television. This is basically a new platform that God has blessed us with, uh, whereby we're going to preach the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, uh, across the globe. So wherever you are watching from, uh, you are greeted in Jesus' mighty name, whether you are in America, you are in Asia, you are in the Middle East, you are in the Caribbean, you are welcome. Remember, the Bible says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him should not die but have everlasting life so wherever you are jesus already he died for your sins so i want you to feel comfortable the vision of this ministry basically the bible says in the book of matthew 28 verse 19 and 20 that go you outside there and preach the good news to the people and preach the gospel to the people and baptize them in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit that's exactly what we are doing in mana temple i just want you to know that we follow the god of abraham isaac and jacob you are well come to be with us you are welcome to follow us you are welcome to partner with us you are welcome to be our viewer we welcome you in the mighty name of our lord and savior jesus christ of nazareth remember the bible says in the book of first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 that no eye have seen no ear have heard nor is it entered into the hearts of men what god is about to do to the people that he loves. and we believe god loves mana temple and god is just blessed us every good gift comes from above we thank god and we are grateful for this opportunity as i I've told you before that my name is Brother Cosmos Maudi. I'm going to be taking you in a walk of spirit. I'm going to be introducing a program that is called One Hour of Praise and Worship. I want you to stay tuned and look forward for that type of program because it's going to uplift you spiritually. It's going to lift you from faith to faith. If you didn't know who Jesus is uh, by, by, by meeting us on a daily basic thing or on whatever weekly basis, uh, God is going to be talking to us and blessing us on a daily basic thing as we get older and as we know each other better and better. I just want to say to you, shalom, shalom, shalom. See you next time. Don't touch that dial. <laughs>
Dumela Saubona, the child of God, wherever you are. So this is the beautiful day, it's the wonderful day the Lord has made for us so that we can rejoice and be led in it. And I believe that, that and I believe that wherever you are, the child of God, you are highly blessed this afternoon. So welcome you wherever you are from Mana TV and then uh, from Mana Temple Church, South Africa, and our Father Apostle Ma Vaso. So Kimuruti Chauke and our Father, the anointing of Apostle Mavaso. And remember that at Mana Temple we are believing upon uh, the topic of let there be light, and they shall be light upon your finances, upon your life, upon your marriage, wherever you are, the child of God. So I will be with you uh, upon this show when it comes to the topic of a prayer and prophetic moment. So wherever you are, the child of God, the Holy Ghost, fire. And we believe that the fire that we are preaching about, it shall reach you wherever you are. So, Mizalwana, 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 Mwana wa Mudimu. It's the time that we've been waiting for, and that time has arrived so that the gospel of Christ Jesus, it shall be preached all over the world. So don't miss this opportunity, the child of God, because, and then uh, David said, I was led when they say unto me, let us go in the house of the Lord. So Luana, you must be led when you hear about Mana TV so that the gospel can reach you wherever you are at your comfort of your home. The gospel is going to reach you. So connect with us. And I promise you, Mwana Mutima, that the moment you connect with the gospel of Christ Jesus, let there be light. The light is going to reach you wherever you are. It doesn't matter wherever you are. It doesn't matter the child of God. The gospel of light is going to reach you. And once you receive this gospel, your story, they shall be changed upon your life. Your life will move from one glory to another glory. So just depend and rely upon this light that we are talking about. And you are going to learn more when it comes to prayer because there are different kind of of prayer so you shall understand more when it come to prayer and the prayer that you are going to engage in is the prayer that is going to change your situation i know that you have been crying because of corona but there is nothing that is impossible before the lord all things are possible we shall overcome this disaster we shall overcome it so put your trust in one issue upon the Lord. I know, Vavangata, you have lost a lot upon your life. You have lost that job that it was putting something upon your family. You have lost the trust in one issue. But don't lose hope. Don't give up. Because it is not over until God says it is over. So don't be discouraged wherever you are. But be strong and be courageous. And always pray, because if you look at Christ Jesus, he is praying for me and you. So it's a sign, the child of God, that no matter what, keep on praying. Whether it is raining, there is corona, and then there is hot, don't give up in prayer. Keep on praying. And the more you pray, is the more you see something change or something beautiful upon your life. Mwanes, ah, kiwala lawa sala, eh, kiwala lawa sala, ki dumela, wherever you are, the child of God. So don't miss out for this opportunity, because this opportunity is going to change your story. It's going to change your life. Tell people out there that there are this show or there are this TV that I've seen, that is Mana TV, and this TV, you can listen to it. You can download it to your app. When you have that Google app, you can go to it and download it there. I know that there is a manner radio whereby you are hearing about the preaching of Apostle Mavaso. So on this TV, you are going to see him live. Hey, Apostle Mzalwan, 
wherever you are. So we thank God for this opportunity, and we are highly blessed and highly favored. Wherever you are, let there be light, and they shall be light, the child of God, wherever you are. So I'm saying to you, bye-bye. Hello everyone, welcome to MANA TV. I am your host, Nolutando Langa, and I'll be presenting about MANA testimonies here at Connor Bosman and Blood. I love testimony. Do you know what comes to mind when I actually hear the word testimony? It's actually the evidence that God is indeed alive that Christ Jesus no matter what we go through no matter what he got our bags actually he got our because he literally got our bags to us through it all through everything suffering tears rejection heartbreaks whatsoever at the end he will reward you because only God can test can turn a test into a testimony through all the trials, through everything, the trials and tribulation. Just like our the servant in the Bible, Job. At the beginning, he had everything. He had the wealth. He is literally the richest in the Bible. Come storms, the devil test, tempt him, test him. He killed everything. He literally kill still and destroyed from him but what even when everything people they keep on saying negative things but he hold on to faith because he knew that god in is indeed the rewarder i know you are struggling i know you are facing every child i know you are facing you feel like giving up you feel like this is too much you feel like you cannot bear this anymore you feel like for it is too much to take for life but let me tell you my sisters God is alive. It actually reminds me of the song Toa Zumbambo when she sings that when I remember what the Lord has done, I will not go back anymore. Because where God is taking you, it is way much greater than where you're coming from. Because what God took you from and where God is placing you, you're going to shame the enemies. Most, mostly your enemies would not triumph over you. Because most certainly the scriptures, say, the scriptures says that whoever waits and hope on the Lord, ah, the enemies, they shall never triumph over them. Indeed, with this, I'd like to thank you and bless you. Thank you. Dumelang Baholo, young people all over the world. I would like to greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has graced us with the gift of life, the gift of loving us unconditionally, without any conditions, without anything no one in this world could ever give us. My name is Bonta Mahapa, and I'm grateful that you all have tuned into the true gospel of Mana Temple. True, true gospel, it is the commitment that you show to God. It is giving yourself with humble hearts to God and worshiping Him in truth and in spirit. Philippians 4 verse 6 and 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but with prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to God. Let your requests be known to God, and He shall give you the peace of the mind, the peace of the heart that shall lead you, and, and that shall lead you into His glory, into His truth. I know that he will deliver in each and every promise that he has made. Each and every one here on earth is facing temptations, it is facing difficulties and confusion about their future. He, everyone is face, some are facing difficulties of unemployment, but I know that the God that we are serving, he is a living God. He is a God who is trustworthy, he is a God of order, a God who is patient, a God who is gentle, and he will make a way. He gave us prayer as a tool to communicate with him a tool so that we may come closer to him and be led by his presence by and be led by his holy spirit i know that he will deliver you i know that he will make a way and bring you out of the wilderness that you are in right now 
I want you to take this moment and go into the presence of God of God. I want you to know that you are safe in his hand. He will make a way. No matter what you are facing, no matter what people are throwing you at your face, no, no matter the wilderness that you are facing, God it is right by your side. Thank you for everything that you have done for us, God. We thank you, Father, for your grace. As we are here right now, all the people, all the viewers, Kopahori, in each and everything that you do, trust in him with all your hearts. Remain humble, remain committed, remain obedient and, com and, and in everything that you do, honor him with all the things of your life. He will deliver you, he'll make a way. Thank you, Eric, thank you for your time and thank you for, for, the wonderful, for the wonderful gift of life God, God has given us. We welcome, we welcome you all into the Mana Temple to come and, and hear the word of God, to hear the light of God that he has for you, in store for you. He has given us the grace so that we may live more into his purpose. I thank you all. Amen. Hi, hello everyone across the globe, all over the world. Uh, I would like to greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the one we are calling him, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. My name is Soli Batswakai Mulefe. Those who know me, they call me by Brasoli. Yes, uh, I would like to invite you, I would like to welcome you, to give you the warm welcome in our church, Mana Temple. Uh, here in Pretoria, South Africa, Pretoria CBD, yes, uh, corner Blood and Bosman Street, yes, uh, under the anointing and the leadership of uh, Apostle Shadrach Mabazo here in South Africa, yes, I hope you are having a great, having a great, wonderful day today, uh, for we are happy and enjoying our show here in Mana Temple, yes. Uh, wherever you are all over the world, it doesn't matter wherever you, you might be in uh, Asia, uh, South Africa, Africa, and all over the parts of this world, yes, we welcome you in, in this uh, uh, TV show, yes. Uh, uh, Wherever you are, if you might be facing problems or challenges, uh, we would like you to contact, the, to, to give a contact on the, uh, on the information that is that right there on your screen. There is uh, uh, the information, the number that you can uh, give, uh, you can give a call unto or you can send a message on those numbers. Yes, and then we are also having our Facebook, which you can get us from, uh, it's Facebook dot com slash uh, mana temple yes i believe you uh, this message finds you well finds you uh, uh, wherever you are uh, find you great and then i believe you are all well and then uh, you are all welcome and then even if wherever you are you want to come and join us here in our church our address is here uh, is right there also on the screen which is you are gonna find us in south africa pretoria cbd Connor Blood and Bosman. Yes, I would like to thank you for giving me and, and giving us the, this chance to stand before you. I thank you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Gyanlochisa noke emakaya nye gamilga chesu. We welcome you once again to our special and powerful program. My name is Bongi Letlo, and we are coming live to you from Mana Temple Church in Pretoria under the anointing of Apostle Shadrach Mabasso. Kind regards to all viewers. My name is Lebu Mulimi, coming live from Mana Temple. Please stay tuned as you're about to witness the amazing power of God.
Dumelang Baholo, young people all over the world. I would like to greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has graced us with the gift of life, the gift of loving us unconditionally, without any conditions, without anything no one in this world could ever give us. My name is Bonta Mahapa, and I'm grateful that you all have tuned into the true gospel of Mana Temple. True, true gospel, it is the commitment that you show to God. It is giving yourself with humble hearts to God and and worshiping him in truth and in spirit. Philippians 4 verse 6 and 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but with prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to God, let your request be known to God, and he shall give you the peace of the mind, the peace of the heart that shall lead you and, and that shall lead you into his glory, into his truth. I know that he will deliver in each and every promise that he has made. Each and every one here on earth is facing temptations, it is facing difficulties and confusion about their future. He, everyone is face, some are facing difficulties of unemployment, but I know that the God that we are serving, he is a living God. He is a God who is trustworthy, he is a God of order, a God who is patient, a God who is gentle, and he will make a way. He gave us prayer as a tool to communicate with him a tool so that we may come closer to him and be led by his presence by and be led by his holy spirit i know that he will deliver you i know that he will make a way and bring you out of the wilderness that you are in right now i want you to take this moment and go into the presence of god of God. I want you to know that you are safe in his hand. He will make a way. No matter what you are facing, no matter what people are throwing you at your face, no, no matter the wilderness that you are facing, God it is right by your side. Thank you for everything that you have done for us, God. We thank you, Father, for your grace. As we are here right now, all the people, all the viewers, Kopahori, in each and everything that you do, trust in him with all your hearts. Remain humble, remain committed, remain obedient and, com and, and in everything that you do, honor him with all the things of your life. He will deliver you, he'll make a way. Thank you, thank you for your time and thank you for, for, the wonderful, for the wonderful gift of life God, God has given us. We welcome, we welcome you all into the Mana Temple to come and, and hear the word of God, to hear the light of God that he has for you, in store for you. He has given us the grace so that we may live more into his purpose. I thank you all. Amen. Shabbat shalom, shalom, shalom. I welcome you all, all over the world, to the MANA TV. I believe that you are going to enjoy, and I hope that as I'm excited, you are excited as well. And I believe that as we are beginning with the MANA TV, we are going to watch and we are going to walk this journey together, and you are going to see some entertainment and some teachings that are going to inspire you. And I want to say to you all over the world that Mana TV is here to make sure that the gospel of Christ Jesus is preached all over the world. I am your servant, Apostle Shadrach Mavaso, and I'm here in South Africa. I want to encourage you all over the world that through Mana TV, you need to tell others, make sure that you download the app on Google Play Store. To make sure that you get blessed and i'm saying to you all over the world this is your tv where christ must be worshipped and must be glorified in truth and in spirit and i'm saying to you i will be with you all the time to make sure that you learn you grow through mana tv make everyone to know and to make sure that everyone they know about this tv all over the world I know that there are so many TVs, but make Mana TV to be your own TV of choice. And I'm saying, let God be glorified and let everyone know that the true gospel 
is still alive even today. I love you with the love of Christ Jesus. And I'm saying to you, as you are watching this TV, make sure you support it as well financially. The banking details are appearing on the screen. Make sure you become a partner to make sure that the gospel of Christ Jesus is being preached all over the world without any compromise. And I'm saying, if you want to visit us, we are in South Africa, in Pretoria. You can dial the number plus 2773-851-4499. And I'm saying to you, we love you all with the love of Christ Jesus. May God bless you. Shabbat Shalom 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 We welcome you once again to our special and powerful program. My name is Bongi Letlou and we are coming live to you from Mana Temple Church in Pretoria under the anointing of Apostle Shadrach Mabasso. Kind regards to all viewers. My name is Lebu Mulimi, coming live from Mana Temple. Please stay tuned as you're about to witness the amazing power of God. Hello everyone, welcome to MANA TV. I am your host, Nolu and I'll be presenting about MANA testimonies here at Kona Bosman and Blood. I love testimony. Do you know what comes to mind when I actually hear the word testimony? It's actually the evidence that God is indeed alive that christ jesus no matter what we go through no matter what he got our bags actually he got our because he literally got our best us through it all through everything suffering tears rejection heartbreaks whatsoever at the end he will reward you because only god can test can turn a test into a testimony through all the trials through everything the trials and tribulation just like our the servant in the bible job at the beginning he had everything he had the world he is literally the richest in the bible come storms the devil test tempt him test him he killed everything he literally kill still and destroyed from him but what even when everything people they keep on saying negative things but he hold on to faith because he knew that god is indeed the rewarder i know you are struggling i know you are facing every child i know you are facing you feel like giving up you feel like this is too much you feel like you cannot bear this anymore you feel like for, it is too much to take for life but let me tell you my sisters God is alive. It actually reminds me of the song Toa Zumbambo when she sings that when I remember what the Lord has done, I will not go back anymore. Because where God is taking you, it is way much greater than where you're coming from. Because what God took you from and where God is placing you, you're going to shame the enemies. Most, mostly your enemies would not triumph over you because most certainly the scriptures, the scriptures says that whoever waits and hope on the Lord ah the enemies they shall never triumph over them indeed with this I like to thank you and bless you thank you
Welcome. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Dimpo Patla, and we are coming from Mena Temple under Apostle Cedric Mabaso. We welcome you to our program that will leave you spiritual uplifted and courageous to face the challenges of life. Let us go to our message today. Please stay tuned. Today we are going to speak under the topic, Let There Be Peace. Let There Be Peace. So right now I'm going to pray and we thank God for His weight and we thank Christ Jesus in our midst because this is His church. Hallelujah. Let me pray and we thank God for His weight. Heavenly Father, You are Yahweh, You are Elohim, you are Adonai. Your Holy Spirit is within me and is upon me. You have anointed me to preach the good news to the poor, to heal the broken hearts, to give freedom to the captives, sight to those who are blind. I announce your favor. Let there be peace. Let there be peace upon the lives of your children right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, because what you are doing, the eye has never seen the ear has never heard in Jesus name Amen and Amen so I would love to thank God for for his grace and for his mercy and we are going to read in the book of uh, Mark chapter 4 uh, verse uh, 39 Mark chapter 4 verse 39 and when Jesus spoke with the storm and he say, peace be still. Hallelujah. And um, when you read in the book of Genesis, I believe in chapter 22, verse 2. And then um, what really happened is that Mudimu Aba Ayako Abraham. And then Ari Abraham. I want you to offer me the child that you love so much, the child of your wedded wife. And then um, Abraham Ari, yes, I am not a priest because for the sacrifice to be offered, there must be a priest. So Ari, I'm not a high priest. And then so how can I offer a sacrifice? Because a sacrifice is the work of the priest Keep one of us one thing by singing. They give their sacrifices. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the most important thing is that um, Mudimu and then Ari, no, don't worry. The place where I'm going to take you, I'm going to consecrate you how Fita I'm not going to look at you as my servant, but I'm going to consecrate you and make you my priest. Lamkutwa Keringin. So it means that when he arrived at Mount Moriah and then God consecrated Abraham, I changed her status, now you are my what? You are my priest. God can do anything that he wants. He does not need any permission from anyone. Are we together, Bazalwanin? He is God. Hallelujah. But at first, when God spoke to Abraham, he never told him exactly where he should give the sacrifice. But Urle, the exact place, how fit up Mo Mount Moriah, Mo Uswanseng, who offer you offer your sacrifice, and you shall see my glory. You shall see my Shekinah glory. And you must know, don't go and offer sacrifice in every area in the mountain. There is a specific place in the mountain where you must give a sacrifice. So God said, when you, before you can reach Mount Moriah, you shall see my Shekinah glory. You shall see my cloud of glory. You shall see my fire. You must know where you see my Shekinah glory, where you see my fire, that is the exact place where you must offer the sacrifice. Are we together, Bazalwanin? So, here is Abraham, and he takes his only son, Isaac, 
and then, you know, ultimately two of his servants and then to the mountain. And then before they can reach the mountain, and then, you know, Abraham, he saw the Shekinah glory. He saw the Shekinah glory. And he asked his only son, Isaac. And he said, Isaac, do you see what I see on the mountain? And Isaac replied and said, Surely dead, I can see the glory of God. I can see the fire of God. Remember in the Old Testament, when you give a sacrifice, when the fire came down, it's a sign that your sacrifice has been accepted. So Abraham, when he realized that when Isaac saw the fire and he saw the Shekinah glory, he realized that God has accepted him as a what? As a sacrifice. Are we together? And he said to his two servants, do you see anything on the mountain? And they say, we see nothing. We just see the mountain empty. And Abraham, he understood that these people are not allowed to go with me on the mountain. That is why when you read the Bible, he said to his servants, remain with the donkey when I'm going with my child to the mountain. To do what? To offer the sacrifice. Are we together? So if they couldn't see the glory, it means the task that he was supposed to do, it was not meant for their eyes. Their presence was not needed in the, when the sacrifice is being offered. Are we together, Basalwani? May the name of God be glorified. There are, how do you know that people that come into your life, they need to be part of your life? If they cannot see the vision that God has put in your life, you must know that those people, they are not supposed to walk the journey with you. Are we together, Basalwani? Because we pull the people that are not supposed to go further with us and they cannot see where you are going. Why should you take them where you are going? Hallelujah. So Abraham, he interpreted so very quickly that if they cannot see the glory of God, it means they cannot go and do what? And offer the sacrifice. Are we together with him? And he said, remain behind. But look at this. Abraham, before he can say remain behind, and when he say remain behind to them, he prophesied. He prophesied. He said, I shall come back with my son Isaac. And I want to find you here. So he prophesied unconsciously. Although God never told him that your son is going to come back, but when he speak with his servants, Uri, Uri my, remained here until I come back with my child Isaac. Are we together, Basalwani? So that was a prophecy, but he was not aware that he was prophesying. Why many of you, you are sacrificing or you are giving your offering? But God is not blessing you because you cannot identify the exact area where you need to give your offering. That is why you keep on giving. Yet God said, this is not the place where I said you should give. Are we together? So with Abraham, he never went everywhere on Mount Moriah. He went to the specific area where God said, this is the area where I want you to give your offering. To give your offering of Isaac as a what? As a sacrifice. For the peace to prevail. This is where the church is missing things. During the time of Israelites, when they want to see peace in their land, they were not giving just an offering, any offering. They will say, this offering will give it a name, peace offering. Are we together God gave types of offerings to Moses. And Ari, for the peace to prevail, teach the children of Israel to give what? A peace offering. Are we together? So that they may be what? They may be peace in their land. They may be peace in their lives. Are we together? Yes, Jesus, 
He is the perfect offering. He is our peace offering. Are we together? It doesn't mean that when he became an offering, we don't continue to give the offerings. So you as well, when you see that your life does not have peace, you've got the right and say, I'm categorizing this offering and I'm giving it a name. The peace offering. And I'm taking it to the house of the Lord. Are we together? Was alone in? May the name of God be glorified. Hallelujah. So once you can categorize and you say, this is the peace offering, God shall grant you the peace. Because you cannot understand the New Testament if you don't understand the Old Testament. They work towards each other. They connect to one another. Are we together, church of God? Mudimu ari Hallelujah. So it took three days for Abraham, for him to travel to the Mount of Moriah. But even if it took him three days, Abraham never said, When you give your offering, when you don't see the results, Abraham never angalan. He continued. Hallelujah. So, the most important thing that I want you to understand, when you read in the book of Mark chapter 4, we hear in the Bible or we read in the Bible that Jesus was in the boat, but there were other smaller boats. Not only one boat. There were other small boats which were following. So, the storm took place. And when the storm took place, the Bible put very clear, Jesus was asleep. He was asleep. And they woke, they tried everything that they know. They used all their skills. They did everything that they know to make, to control the boat. And they realized this is beyond our control. Is then they woke him up and they say, Rabbi, Rabbi, we are dying. And when he woke up, the storm became so very heavy. The storm became so very, very strong. And he stood up and he just released the weight. Peace, be still. Hallelujah. Sometimes we don't get the correct result because we don't know the kind of the demon that we are fighting against. He never spoke to the storm. He commanded what is greater than the storm. He never spoke to the storm. This is, that is very, very interesting. He never spoke to the storm. But he spoke and he commanded the angel peace. When he said peace, he realized that the angel with the name peace was nowhere in the sea. And he said, peace, be still. In another way, he commanded the angel peace to come and control, take control and authority. Where? On the sea. And he said, peace, be still. Are we together? Was that is why the Bible say, let those who are weak say, I am strong. You speak the opposite of the things that you are seeing. Are we together? He never said, let me deal with the storm. He said, let me bring the opposite of the storm. Because in the absence of the storm, there is, in the absence of the, of the peace, there is what? There is a storm. Are we together? Was alone in? Where there is no peace, there is a disaster. Are we together? Was alone in? So I want you to understand very, very clear that in the absence of peace, marriages fell apart. In the absence of peace, marriages fell apart. Hallelujah. In the absence of peace, countries go to war against one another because there is no peace. Are we together? Was alone in? in the absence of peace, no prosperity will take place in your life. Are we together? Once you receive peace, it's a sign that God has prospered you. Are we together? The first thing that the devil takes, 
he take away peace. Because he know that when he take away peace, your prayer life will be affected negatively. It is very difficult to pray in the midst of the storm. That is why when things are going well in your life, that is the right moment to pray. Because during the storm, it's not the time where you need to pray. It is the time when the prayer that you use during the time when things are fine, that prayer will usher you during the storm. Are we together, Basalwanin? May the name of God be glorified. Hallelujah. So when things are going well, when you have more money, when everything financially is still standing fine, that is the right moment to give more. Normally when we have more money, we don't give. We want to give when we don't have money. Remember the prayer that you make when things are going well. During the time of storm, the, that prayer will usher you to take you through so that you can conquer the storm. Are we together, Basalwani? May the name of God be glorified. Hallelujah. So that is where we are getting things wrong. Because when things are right, when things are going according to us, we don't invest heavily on prayer. We don't invest heavily in the fellowship of the believers. We don't invest heavily in the studying of the weight. We don't do that. When things are going well in your life, it means you must spend more time in the presence of God. Hallelujah. May the name of God be glorified. Hallelujah. Remember, a prayer and the fellowship of the believers is like the investment that you make to the heavenly bank. That during the time of a need, you go back to your investments and you withdraw so that you can be assisted. So once every time you are coming here every Sunday, you must understand one thing, that it is not in vain. God will reward you. God will help you. During the difficult times, you can go back and say, remember the good things that I have done. And when God remembers the good things that you have done, he shall surely repay you. I speak with you, the listener at home. This is your favorite apostle. It's not a mistake that you are listening to me. Come to Mana Temple. Come and receive your prophetic healing. Come and receive your prophecy. Yes, everything that we do, the glory only goes to Christ Jesus. As you are watching me from your screens, from your TVs, I release the anointing. Say, be healed in the name of Jesus. I release your car right now. I release, let favor be your name in 2019. I release, let your marriage found you in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has stolen, 2019, I prophesy is a prophetic year. And I say, come to Mana Temple. Come, join thousands of people who came to Mana Temple for prophecy, who came to Mana Temple for healing. Many people, they've got testimonies. Yes, you can go to our clips and watch our clips. You will understand. We are a church that believes in the power that resurrected Jesus from the dead. We are the church that believes Jesus is coming back again. As you are watching from home, 2019 is a year where I'm saying to you, 2019, never again will you suffer. Do you know this girl? Can we? How long have you been knowing her? 18 years. But you don't know her? I know her. I repeat, you don't know her? I do know her. For the last time, you don't know her? I do know her. Okay. Are you aware your sister is still being used in the kingdom of the devil? Why is it? How do you know? 
She's still in the kingdom of the darkness and she's they they blocked everything about her. But blocked everything you hide. You say? It's true. How did you enter into the devil worshipping? How did you enter? By the time Anali, maybe six to seven years. Yes. Sile aya komuting omo ngweso. Aya ko? Komuting omo ngwe koma haing. Okay. Komuting wateng like nadala. So, nili kushu wa hema mnyaka. Bamo raba hema mnyaka rukiri le bamo tapi saka ilo tavon. Bamo nzengi? Bamo tapi saka komuting wateng ke batova le le. Don't cry, my daughter. It is well. God is going to deliver you. You can talk. What were you doing? Uh, Don't when you speak, that is your deliverance. Okay. Don't cry. God is delivering you. Okay. Okay. Uh, the time the first time the first time Okay. And then so the person appeared from the wall. Yes. Ali biang mutunen. Like moto utle just like kinch. So utle as a fly. Yes. What happened? So this guy, as a more like a change, I have So from from being a fly, a change, I Yes. Okay. And, Thank you, Jesus. And then a big Okay. Like Osala Milwaka fella, like but when our corrobates come high. So the people about Urubating Livona when I was a mobody. Yes. Kosala Milwa how? Yes. Okay. Listen very careful. And then ever Samaya so Ritana Molubotong. Little Lewana Utwa Koli 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 Wotani. Yes. Continue. So Erzala Konte. So, Lina Mela Buroton? Yes. Okay. And then, Ever Samaya, Rakometi. Laya Kometi? Yes. Kofati Kometi? Yes. Okay. Then, Erfitilekwa, so, Wafa Mereko, Na Merokaka, Ebelo Yako Di Petlein. Mereko wa hao, Ne Ule Yako Di Petlein, Uwe Tanga? Uweza, Banababanyani, Pamasiya. No, it's a man of a masia over the area. Ah, a becket and a mulubotong, and then a becketara and two one yana so a ready, and then a becula like a honor. So, kits and a mulubotong after the tickets and a mulubotong, so a becketa, one umunya, Nicomutsala moy, and then Umutia cocai, Mompetum, a rovit, Umutia Mompetu. Yes, and then what happened? So, a becketa malonga. What will happen, Kamwanan? Yes. So, never Okaba waba ingin? So wawa. Aha, emwe okaba ingin? Emwe kana kaba nosi ore inch. Aha, emwe? And emwe kaba butterfly. Asin, lima mezi. So, the butterfly tell you the one ang. Tell you what I the butterfly. Kita mama utong like, if if una li ona like molotong, it means he wears an agawe. If we enter tattoo your butterfly, yes, if it's an alloy, Luna let them wait at the tattoo. So if only tattoo your butterfly, let's say, like I own it, yeah, a very nice collection, yeah, my yeah, the doctor, like Baba Kalawa, lady, the tattoo, that the butterfly, did he know her and stuff? I seen a key and a little long, said him when you're nearly a song. Like so, no, 
o sa etseng e ke sa nne go pele ke nna go morao ha o nna ko morao etsang e ke ntse go morao kwa ke khono ira matsoso ke go pa o ile tse ba ile bele camera ha o etsa bialo what does it mean e gira so and then ke ba bitsa it means o na le motho ka mo a ire le nthatu so ro tsena ka yena e be ritswa ka yena o bitsa bo man ko under water you call them under the water yes o re ba tlo etsang ba tlo o tla mo and then ro tsena ka this lady o tla ba ire le thatu so it means how o etseng tho o yetsang under the water they come yes normally ne go tla batho ba byang ah like ro khona tsara mmitini if today ra kana ra tsara mmitini mshiu and then ba bolela hore tsantse re go kere ke eng e filefi if u ga se e e bo betha ka chaine yo ba le mollo so what made you to come to this church ah ke tle le mama jesus is going to protect you amen wa ngo tla ke ringe Yakuno tu la morena oh oh na te ha ta ka ke u yesa na le We have come to the end of our program. Thank you for tuning in and I hope that God has ministered to your lives. If you want to support our ministry, here is the bank account on the screen. If you'd like to worship with us, we are by Corner Blood and Bosman, Pretoria, and our service starts at 8 a.m. You can count restoration and healing. Remember, with prayer there's healing. Shalom. I greet you viewers at home in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Sibongi Letlo and we are coming live to you from Mana Temple Church in Pretoria under the anointing of Apostle Shadrach Mabaso. Welcome viewers. My name is Kanyolo Etukoma and you are about to minister the great work of the Lord. Let's get to it. Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. Open 2 Kings chapter 20, starting from verse 1 up to 6. Mama will read, and when she's done with reading, she will pray for the word. About this time, Hezekiah got sick and was almost dead. Isaiah the prophet went in and told him, The Lord says you won't ever get well. You are going to die. So you had better start doing what needs to be done. Hezekiah turned towards the wall and prayed, Don't forget that I have been faithful to you, Lord. I have obeyed you with all my heart, and I do whatever you say is right. After this, he cried hard. Before Isaiah got to the middle court of the palace, the Lord sent him back to Hezekiah with this message. Hezekiah, you are the ruler of my people, and I am the Lord God, who was worshipped by your ancestors, David. I heard you pray, and I saw you cry. I will heal you so that three days from now, you will be able to worship in my temple. I will let you live 15 years more while I protect you and your city from the king of Assyria. I will defend this city as an honor to me and to my servant David. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, yes, we're praying, we're reading your word, the interpretation is from you. I pray that Lord Holy Spirit, speak with us today through your servant. I know that today you have chosen him to speak to us. I pray, my Lord, that, Lord, help us to take your word and understand it. Help us to take your word and do with it. Father, I believe that you are here. And, uh, Father, I believe that you have got something for every one of us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And I believe that it is... We welcome you once again to our special and powerful program. My name is Bongi Letlou and we are coming live to you from Mana Temple Church in Pretoria under the anointing of Apostle Shadrach Mabasso. Kind regards to all viewers. My name is Lebu Mulimi, coming live from Mana Temple. Please stay tuned as you're about to witness the amazing power of God. Dimelansan Bonani, Absheni, Lochani, I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Karao Mundedi, live from Pretoria, South Africa, at Mana Temple Church. You know, as I'm speaking right now, there's this verse that comes to mind about uh, that we should, when two or more are gathered, he will be in our midst. So we are gathered as, you know, we are in Mana TV, so we are gathered and that is just the whole point of it, you know, gathering in together in his midst. So 
I don't want to waste any more of your time. I'm the presenter of Worship Harmony. So this program is going to be all about playing music, gospel music, actually. Praise, worship. We're going to be worshiping and, like, feeling the presence of the Lord at all times while the songs are playing. Hello everyone, welcome to MANA TV. I am your host, Nolutando Langa, and I'll be presenting about MANA testimonies here at Kona Bosman and Blood. I love testimony. Do you know what comes to mind when I actually hear the word testimony? It's actually the evidence that God is indeed alive, that Christ Jesus, no matter what we go through, no matter what, he got our bags, actually. He got our, because he literally got our bags to us through it all, through everything, suffering, tears, rejection, heartbreaks, whatsoever. At the end, he will reward you because only God can test can turn a test into a testimony through all the trials through everything the trials and tribulation just like our the servant in the bible job at the beginning he had everything he had the world he is literally the richest in the bible come storms the devil test tempt him test him he killed everything he literally killed still and destroyed from him but what even when everything people they keep on saying negative things but he hold on to faith because he knew that god in, is indeed the rewarder i know you are struggling i know you are facing every trial i know you are facing you feel like giving up you feel like this is too much you feel like you cannot bear this anymore you feel like for it is too much to take for life but let me tell you my sisters God is alive. It actually reminds me of the song Tozumbambo when she sings that when I remember what the Lord has done, I will not go back anymore. Because where God is taking you, it is way much greater than where you're coming from. Because what God took you from and where God is placing you, you're going to shame the enemies. Most, mostly your enemies would not triumph over you. Because most certainly, the scripture, say, the scripture says that whoever waits and hope on the Lord ah the enemies they shall never triumph over them indeed with this I like to thank you and bless you thank you special and rare greetings to all manner TV viewers all over the world. Indeed, it is a great day we've been waiting for as the Lord has revealed himself through his servant, Apostle Shadrach Mabaso. The vision of radio and TV came and manifest since we serve the faithful God who speak no half true no in veil. Mana radio and mana TV is how we are looking forward to expand the true gospel of God. That's why the Bible says in John 3 verse 16, For God loved the world that we ever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That will change our life and transform us. So let us keep listening to mana radio and keep on listening to mana TV. Your life will never be the same. We welcome you once again to our special and powerful program. My name is Bongi Letlou and we are coming live to you from Mana Temple Church in Pretoria under the anointing of Apostle Shadrach Mabasso. Kind regards to all viewers. My name is Lebu Mulimi, coming live from Mana Temple. Please stay tuned as you're about to witness the amazing power of God. everyone welcome to mana tv i am your host nolutando langa and i'll be presenting about mana 
testimonies here at Connor Bosman and Blood. I love testimony. Do you know what comes to mind when I actually hear the word testimony? It's actually the evidence that God is indeed alive that Christ Jesus no matter what we go through no matter what he got our bags actually he got our because he literally got our bags to us through it all through everything suffering tears rejection heartbreaks whatsoever at the end he will reward you because only God can test can turn a test into a testimony through all the trials through everything the trials and tribulation just like our the servant in the bible job at the beginning he had everything he had the world he is literally the richest in the bible come storms the devil test tempt him test him he killed everything he literally kill still and destroyed from him but what even when everything people they keep on saying negative things but he hold on to faith because he knew that god in, is indeed the rewarder i know you are struggling i know you are facing every child i know you are facing you feel like giving up you feel like this is too much you feel like you cannot bear this anymore you feel like for it is too much to take for life but let me tell you my sisters God is alive. It actually reminds me of the song Do Zimbabwe when she sings that when I remember what the Lord has done, I will not go back anymore. Because where God is taking you, it is way much greater than where you're coming from. Because what God took you from and where God is placing you, you're going to shame the enemies. Most, mostly your enemies would not triumph over you. Because most certainly the scripture, say, the scripture says that whoever waits and hope on the Lord ah the enemies they shall never triumph over them indeed with this I like to thank you and bless you thank you Shabbat Shalom 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 I welcome you all all over the world to the MANA TV. I believe that you are going to enjoy and I hope that as I'm excited, you are excited as well. And I believe that as we are beginning with the MANA TV, we are going to watch and we are going to walk this journey together and you are going to see some entertainment and some teachings that are going to inspire you. And I want to say to you all over the world, that MANA TV is here to make sure that the gospel of Christ Jesus is preached all over the world. I am your servant, Apostle Shadrach Mabaso, and I'm here in South Africa. I want to encourage you all over the world that through MANA TV, you need to tell others, make sure that you download the app on Google Play Store to make sure that you get blessed. And I'm saying to you, all over the world, this is your TV, where Christ must be worshipped and must be glorified in truth and in spirit. And I'm saying to you, I will be with you all the time to make sure that you learn, you grow through MANA TV. Make everyone to know and to make sure that everyone they know about this TV. All over the world, I know that there are so many TVs but make MANA TV to be your own TV of choice. And I'm saying, let God be glorified and let everyone know that the true gospel is still alive even today. I love you with the love of Christ Jesus. And I'm saying to you, as you are watching this TV, make sure you support it as well financially. The banking details are appearing on the screen. Make sure you become a partner to make sure that the gospel of Christ Jesus is being preached all over the world without any compromise. And I'm saying, if you want to visit us, we are in South Africa, in Pretoria, you can dial the number plus 2773-851-4499. And I'm saying to you, we love you all with the love of Christ Jesus. May God bless you. Shabbat 
Shalom, shalom, shalom. Special and rare greetings to all Mana TV viewers all over the world. Indeed, it is a great day we've been waiting for as the Lord has revealed himself through his servant, Apostle Shadrach Mabaso. The vision of radio and TV came and manifest since we serve the faithful God who speak no half true nor in veil. Mana radio and Mana TV is how we are looking forward to expand the true gospel of God. That's why the Bible says in John 3 verse 16, For God loved the world that we ever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That will change our life and transform us. So let us keep listening to Mana radio and keep on listening to Mana TV. Your life will never be the same. We welcome you once again to our special and powerful program. My name is Bongi Letlou and we are coming live to you from Mana Temple Church in Pretoria under the anointing of Apostle Shadrach Mabaso. Kind regards to all viewers. My name is Lebu Mulimi, coming live from Mana Temple. Please stay tuned as you're about to witness the amazing power of God. Today we are going to speak about the topic that the revelation of open heavens. We are in the season of open heavens. I'm going to pray right now and we thank God for his weight. Heavenly Father, you are Yahweh, you are Elohim, you are Adonai. Your Holy Spirit is within me and it's upon me. You have anointed me to preach the good news to the poor, to heal the broken hearts, to give freedom to the captives, sight to those who are blind. I announce your favor upon everyone who is listening right now in the name of Jesus. Let everyone who is weak say, I am strong. Let everyone who is poor say, I am rich. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for what you are doing. The eye has never seen, the ear has never heard. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. What is the meaning of the open heavens? Open heavens means you watch over the word of God and ask for God 
to wash over his word in your life. You wash over the word of God. It is my responsibility to wash over the word of God, to make sure that the word of God dwells in my heart. Hallelujah. And when you keep the word of God in your life, God 